Welcome to exercise 9.3, configuring zone scavenging as part of lab 9, configuring DNS records. Found in the <coughs> Microsoft Official Academic Course, administering Windows Server 2012 R2, in preparation for exam 70-411. This exercise will go over configuring zone scavenging. With dynamic, with dynamic addresses, often resource records will be added to a DNS zone and will remain there unless they are manually deleted or scavenged. During this exercise, you, you configure the zone scavenging. The mindset behind this is that when you want a DNS zone scavenging, you must enable scavenging at the server and at the zone. The approximate lab time for this is 10 minutes. So we're going to gen, go ahead and jump to the one question. When you enable DNS scavenging, what is the default number of days before a record is scavenged? And the answer is going to be seven days. With that, let's go ahead and get started. So if you were if you are continuing this video from the last one, we already have DNS Manager open. We're going to go ahead and right click on the RWDC, left click, right click. And we want to choose set agent scavenging for all zones. And then we want to click on the scavenge stale resource records app option. And here's your default of seven days. And we'll go ahead and click on OK. Now we're going to click to enable these settings. I'm sorry, to apply these settings to the existing Active Directory integrated zones, and we're going to click on OK. Now we're going to right click on a datum.com, left click, right click, and go down into properties. On the general tab, we're going to click on the aging button, and we're going to click to enable the scavenge stale resource records option. And if you're following along in your lab manual, this is where you would take your next print screen. We're going to go ahead and click on OK. When you're prompted to apply the aging scavenging settings to the standard primary zone, we're going to click on Yes. Click on OK. And this is the end of this exercise and the end of this video. The next video will be exercise 9.4, troubleshooting DNS.